Well, Mr. Johnson wants to he wants to talk to us. I don't know if it's probably about the Olympics, if I'm going to take a guess. I hope everything's okay. Yes, Nick, thank you for your concern. I was changing my shirt. I was a little late. Cha- Uh-oh, Mr. Johnson's eyes are being bulged out. Uh-oh. Johnny Fit says, oh, Mr. J, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. And did you enjoy the Olympics yesterday? The end of the Olympics? Yes, I, did. I didn't even enjoy the closing ceremony more. I watched the curling. I did catch some curling, Mr. J. The gold winning eagle curling, I might add. Okay, please go ahead. I didn't say he was being racist. I said that once they said it was a racist comment for her to say that, that that did not make any sense because she's used that shut up and fill in the blank for about 10 years plus now with all different people, actors and and, uh, all different type of artists, not just athletes. Yep, absolutely. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Johnson. I'm sure you had things going on, and that's quite understandable in this day and age. Yes, I, I will. I made my promise, and I shall keep said promise. When it comes out, I will get your address, and I will shoot you one. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, and uh, I most certainly will see you Thursday. All righty. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Mr. J, as always, starting off the show, leading off. Uh Uh-oh, he's showing us, I don't know what he's got going on there. Oh, there it is. There's there's the torturous confederation. Mr. J, someday you're going to get that wish. One of these female bodybuilders on our program are going to just choke your fucking lungs out. All righty there, Mr. J. Oh, <laughs> all righty. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Of course, Mr. J. And look, there's the fake Greg Valentino on the air today. Welcome, everyone, to uh, the radio of Muscle Sport Kind. Welcome, family members. Thank you so much for joining me today. Mr. Johnson, thank you. Can't wait to see you at the Arnold. Dan, did you, uh, you got to send me your Kamishikyama there, your fucking number, so I can get you on the, uh, the text. And Kean said she's going to miss the Arnold. But her and her husband are going to make the uh, Olympia. So we are going to see you and hubby at the Olympia. And there's Savage and Mark. What is up, everyone? And there's Miss MSM herself, Wildfire. She's not on the horses today. She has beautiful horses. 
She likes to ride horses, Crystal Wildfire. But um, I want to talk a little bit about... Uh, hey, Joe, how are you? I'm doing well, Mark. How the fuck are you? <laughs> you're just waking up. You work midnight, so you're allowed. And the fake Greg Valentino is saying MSM rocks. Up and down and up and down. I'm humble little savage. You have no idea what just went through my mind when you said that. <laughs> uh, Crystal works late nights. So she, and so does Miss Hyper Gym Freak, Mia. My hair looks good, but I miss the gray. What gray? What are you talking about? My hair's always been jet black. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. <laughs> you know what I meant by that, humble little savage. I'm sure you did because you have a wonderful perverted sense of humor as I do and everybody else on this fucking feed. His hair does look fresh for the Arnold. Allie, come on. I'm going to hang out with you again. You didn't think I was going to dye my fucking hair? I got to look good for Ali. Ali's a fucking champ. And there he is, Arnold Transformation and Johnny Juice. I think these guys are fucking each other in the ass. They always join the fucking live feed together, the two Johnnies. Just kidding. What's up, Juice and Transformation? Love you guys. Be good to each other. <laughs> All right, so now that we're a couple of years removed, can you finally reveal what happened with the Purbanel post mental diploma? Oh, the Purbanel thing. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I could talk about that. Dinner Friday night at the Arnold. You, uh, you drinks, though. We need drinks. <laughs> you got to get on the on the group text so we can all hook up. What's up, crazies? John Starner is definitely a good fucking member of this family. I can tell he's a little fucking nutty like I am. Why do we always get the fake ones? Fake orgasms. I always get fake orgasms, and now I get fake fucking accounts over here. Screw food. I don't know. I heard if you put a chicken cutlet in the fucking microwave for 30 seconds, it feels like a real pussy. <laughs> Go to the Mongolian barbecue. Well, we got the fucking Mongolian idiot at fucking <laughs> the muscle gels booth. <laughs> Purple now led to Purple now leaving muscular development. I'll tell you why I disagree with that, Nick, and I very rarely disagree with you because we're going to be family members soon. But <laughs> I was telling my daughter all about you this week, this week while she was home. Beyond nutty, brother. Oh, I got some good things I could put on your plate then, pal. <laughs> for, for sure we're doing drinks. Let's be real. Purple now is a great photographer. I will. Hey, Pete Kenny, what's up, pal? I will definitely say that. Purple now is a great photographer, but... Uh, Gregory James, uh, I guess he took over for Purr because when Blackman brought Gregory in to, because we had so many fucking things planned for after the Olympia for shoots because you want to get all of these guys like right after, before they really fuck up their bodies. What's going on, Ken? Uh, so you have all of these shoots booked for the following day. So he figured if I have double the photographers there, I can bang out double the shoots and get them all right away. Hours, only hours after the Olympia. Elena, Pink Princess. What is up, Miss Pink? Miss Pink has got some beautiful overhead shots. You can really get a good look at good parts. <laughs> and I love that I fucking follow her on the Instagrams. Hey, Joe, how's your lunch? Dave, I ate it already. But I might throw it up and eat it all over again because it was so good. <laughs> um... So Per took offense to that because uh, he figured, like, you know, I'm the fucking photographer. Why do I need somebody else? And Gregory James was the head photographer for Muscle Mag. He's from Canada. I remember you and Dietrich looking over pictures from Gregory James with Steve, and all Steve could talk about was Joe Mangiello. Oh, my God. He wanted Joe Mangiello's fucking penis so bad. What's up, baby? You are beautiful as ever. I don't, is bad. Uh, I'm a, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Would you eat a pigeon on a Tuesday? I'd eat a pussy on a fucking Monday. Why wouldn't I eat a pigeon on a Tuesday? The one of the pigeon sisters from the Odd Couple, Gwendolyn and Cecily. Um. So Gregory was there, and <laughs> and and Per got a little miffed. Would you go gay for? No, they asked me that on Ask Me Anything. I said I'd do it for a million, for a million bucks. I'll fucking take it in the keister. Or fucking give it to. I'll do fucking gay 69 for a fucking mill. 100,000. No, bro. Come on. 100,000. Not maybe in the 60s. <laughs> you got to remember, I was born in the fucking summer of love in 67. So back then, it could have been. <laughs> it was also the same year that Charles Manson was released from jail and, and went to California, San Francisco at first. <laughs> but, um,. 
A million yen. I don't know. I don't know. What's the fucking uh, exchange rate? Is yen like fucking pesos or J- Jamaican dollars? Which are like, fuck, you give a Jamaican guy a $10 bill, he'll fucking he'll let you <laughs> do everything to his family. <laughs> Oh fuck this! Is <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, Per. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. Per now. So Per got pissed, and he kind of basically bailed out and said he didn't feel good and he needed to go home. And then he actually sent uh, Steve like a picture laying in a gurney, like in the emergency room at a hospital. So it was like a whole big like, are you fucking kidding me kind of thing. But I do like Purpanel. I saw him last year at the Arnold. I saw him the year before. I always I see him all the time, and I got along with both. I love Gregory James too, and um, I got along. It had nothing to do with me the decision, you know. I mean, I both of them can shoot good, but they're rivals, con. You got to remember these guys are kind of like rivals because. One guy's the top guy at one magazine. The other guy's the top guy at another magazine. And then that magazine folds. And he did all the American curves with all those hot broads and shit. And then so Gregory goes into MD. Now, after Per left, Gregory was the main guy. What am I drinking today? Just water, Mark. Water. And my full disclosure nutrition uh, shaky shakies. Um, so Gregory, then Blackman wanted to bang half his fucking salary out. Oh my God. You're asking, how do you, you read my mind, you motherfucker. Who in your opinion had a bigger mental breakdown? Sid Barrett. He even spells Sid right. You gotta marry my daughter, bro. Cause I'm a Pink Floyd maniac, especially early days with Sid. With Pink Floyd or Robert DiMaggio at the Iron Dude <laughs> Company. <laughs> I don't know. Sid's was pretty infamous. Um, also, this year, 67, the year I was born, was the year that Piper at the Gates of Dawn was released. Their first album, Pink Floyd. I'm going to say the ironic douche because Pink Floyd was able to maintain, sustain, and then go to v- amazing fucking uh, areas. So the breakdown of Sid was bad for him. So it depends on which one you're asking me now. Was it the breakdown bad for Pink Floyd or bad for Sid? Was the ironic douche bad for the company or bad for the ironic douche? Old school iron, look what I'm sporting today, baby. Those articles are fucking great, bro. I emailed you back, Darren. Oh, Vaniculo, yes, marry his daughter. <laughs> what do you eat for school lunch? I graduated high school in 1985. <laughs> Darren, I'm serious, bro. Those, I, that's very cool shit, and I, uh, that's good looking out. And I am gonna be looking out for you at the Arnold, cause I am gonna be saying old school iron so many times. I hope I don't fuck it up when I'm drunk, bro, in the, in the nighttime broadcast. <laughs> Dope shirt, and look at the back on this fucking thing. You got it. These guys got great rear things on their shirts, and not, no leg press, like shut up and squat kind of thing. Do you use grow gain? No, but I should, and I'm going to invest in it. If anybody has a as a, a, a large supply of it, I'll buy it off of them. Son of Sammy Davis. Hi, son. Long time no see. What is up, Eric? Jared's journey. He changed it to transformation. Favorite Pink Floyd album, Joe. I'm going to say Dark Side with Animals a close second and Wish You Were Here. Very close. After that, believe it or not, A Saucer Full of Secrets. Sid is on a few songs on that one. Only a couple of them. Joe, I'm from Long Island. Would you like to get Chewies later? Um, I cannot. I have to stay at work late tonight. <laughs> you really do live from Long Island? Chili's... <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever bring back the Living the Jack Life series anytime soon? Well, that was really Greg doing that, so it wouldn't be right. You know, that would be like me bringing the Greg and Joe show back and bringing some guy named like Greg Jones or something. <laughs> I remind you to say old school lion when we're. Oh, Malkia, what's up, bro? You, you better remind me because I ain't going to fucking remember. You're from Huntington. Okay, that's not far from me. Favorite Guns N' Roses song? Hmm. Let me think. I like Mr. Um, what was I? Uh, not Mr. Oh, fuck. Oh, what's the one I'm thinking of? The fucking, uh, the, 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 the name of the old liquor, the really cheap liquor. Are we doing a live from the Arnold on Thursday? We can. Not like our regular live. Maybe. I don't know. Depends. It depends on where we are at that time. Because we'll just be allowed to check in at three, the hotel. So I'm going to, hey, Maze, what's up, Fruity? 
Big Bull Joe, what is up there, Big Bull? I'm going to say no because I want to do more shit like on Friday and Saturday. So probably Thursday will be more of just like getting shit together for the next two days. But you never know. Just look at the Instagrams and we will surprise you maybe. Uh, my favorite, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, night Train. I'm on the Night Train. That's what I couldn't think of. I like Mr. Brownstone also. Hey, Kev, what is up? Uh, do you want me to pass any messages on to your buddy Bob or Matthew Arnold? I'm hoping they will let us check in early. If not, we'll break in. Amazing. Look, Ali noticed before you. She said something earlier in the program. It's the lighting. It's just <laughs> old school keeping it 100. What is up? Thumbs up to you as well, sir. I believe you're a sir. It's hard to tell nowadays. And who am I to assume gender any old ways? But basically the theme of the program, I, I kind of called it in the promos that I posted on the Instagram. Thursday night will be ass holio prep. Moki, I'm getting nervous, bro. <laughs> you're doing some fucking funny shit. Before we even get there, what is your honest opinion about Greg going back? He's gone. He's not even there anymore. Going back to MD even after Steve trying to block his benefits after being employed for 14 years. Do you know that uh, Greg and I had to go to court and all of that shit for that? I, I testified for Greg and we fucking destroyed his lawyer. Yeah, dickhead. He's still at it. And now he's getting at Palumbo? He is. Wow. Fuck Rogaine. Go ball. No, no. My nose will look. Maze, well, my nose, can my nose look any bigger? I'm a man. Ah, fuck, come on. Can you grow tits at least? <laughs> Shave your ass and paint tits on your back. <laughs> Is that Ohio brown? <laughs> it's the same color as Dave Chappelle. <laughs> you mean his skin or his hair? Who would you guys like to see us interview at the Arnold? Arnold! <laughs> yes, who do you want? Who do you want to see us interview at the Arnold? With, like the family, of course, but I'm talking about the uh, I I'm funny shit. I know, bro. I'm breaking your shoes. I'm break I can't wait to hang out with you and your old lady and get fucking drunk together. Vicky, 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 what is up, Mrs. V? Hello, Joe. Jewish Slayer. Do you want to Wait, is that me? <laughs> oh, my God. You fucking guys. I love it. <laughs> oh, come on. Please follow me so I can follow you back. And I'm all going reporting. Do something about it. Report him. Who was watching that the other day? <laughs> Yes, you guys had to go to the Department of Labor, Suffolk County. You made the drive all the way. Oh, fuck, it's the uh, Greg. No, Greg didn't leave MS. <laughs> he was asked to leave. <laughs> What's the craziest thing? Evening. What's up, Vic? What's the craziest thing I ever seen at the Arnold? Interview for Igno. It cut, I don't have $150 to drop. <laughs> no, he, I actually interviewed him for nothing one time. He didn't charge me to interview him because I didn't take a picture of him. I just had a recorder. <laughs> uh, it was the olden days before you had video. You just had those little, like, you know, reported things. The craziest thing I've ever seen at the Arnold. Um, I don't know. I got to think about that. <laughs> that fucko. <laughs> Would you glue the toupee on your head soon? <laughs> <laughs> Jewish Slayer. <laughs> I love it. Do you inject growth hormones? No, it's too much money if you get the real thing. And then why would I want to do growth hormone? It might make my fucking nose bones bigger. <laughs> Take Lee Priest again. Oh, fucking. Uh, we'll definitely get to interview fucking Lee. Cat uh, Secor. What's up, Cat? Cat is the Super League Superwoman. How much test every day? I gotta, go, I gotta get a screenshot of that guy. <laughs> Interview you real. Just move your lips and say, that's mean. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, tons of pros will be at my gym this week. Powerhouse gym on the corner of high and long. High and wide. <laughs> Cat C Core. We gotta speak later, Cat. I, I, I guess, uh, well, we, we emailed each other, but I am uh, just wanted to see if you had any updates on that last thing I sent you. <laughs> Mokia, thanks. You're a badass for answering. You're a badass for... What do you, What was your question again? I don't remember. Did I really answer? You're just breaking my balls. Because I, I got these questions and I forget them. You were asking about ice cream the other day. Was I? Bro, I'm getting fucking dementia, bro. Is it true you once quoted, said to Steve, worry about your side of the street? 
Why don't you think he took your advice and he would take your advice? What do you think MD would be? I have a fucking great fucking undercover tape of that fucking when I got fired that I'm still holding on to. Yes, New York is a single party consent state, so I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. Have you ever taken prop gets you excited? Test prop. Any test gets me excited. Prop is good because it goes in quickly. Torturous Vicky. The owner will have a DJ there. Where? At the gym? John Stone, are you wrong? <laughs> Craziest thing I ever saw at the Arnold South America was Arnold with the maid. Oh, boy. Was that the one you asked me? The craziest thing I ever saw at the Arnold? I'm trying to... I don't think I've ever seen anything crazy. I'm trying to think like... Your video when you had the mullet was hilarious talking about the Jets fan. Nick, is that you? <laughs> Release the tape. <laughs> Son of so, I can't be. Release the tapes. In due time, I, I, I have to get a good video for it. It can't just be tapes with like a fucking still photo. It looks so gay. Vicky, you're so lovely. <laughs> Even my alter ego fake account likes Vicky. <laughs> I'm paying my dues, trying to get strong like the rest of you crazies. I'm not strong, bro. I'm gay. Do the right thing for your fans and for your country, Joe. Don't be like the FBI. <laughs> when Hillary <laughs> release what you have on muscular development. The Jew <laughs> thanks, Jewish. Vicky, look at the photo. Look at the Jewish Slayers avatar. <laughs> Hey, Theo, what's up? Where's Mikey? Mikey crazy. Is he in his, the workies? <laughs> that fucking troll account dude was asking about ice cream on Thursday. I don't remember a mochia. Was it mocha, mocha flavored? <laughs> I don't remember. I got it. I just, I'm actually uploading that episode to YouTube as we speak right now. Working, working. Ah. You guys got to hit lotto so you can stay home all day and just fuck each other and have babies. Joe, you're going to wear those enormous headphones like the shines again? <laughs> Actually, you know what, Maze? Those broke. I bought new ones. I think they're bigger. <laughs> what cycle should I take? Testosterone. Just take testosterone. Don't be silly like me. Me? Don't be silly like me, me. Thoughts on Adina for muscular development. She was one of the worst fucking decisions any company of any industry has ever made i can't pay for the plane ticket <laughs> a thousand milligram of tests hey at least jewish play. <laughs> that that's right crystal yes he could have used the fucking fucking gray and dull picture <laughs> greg you're the man <laughs> that's not the real greg eric I, I don't know if you know or not uh, let the wear those headphones and silky shorts and top chucks. Chuck Taylor's baby. Greg got conservative with the dose. Stevie Shuey Shoe Smith. What is up, Shuey? Shuey's been getting some fucking uh, Facebook messages from a friend of ours. Put the toupee on your head. Let us all slay, please. <laughs> Jewish Slayer. I don't understand. I'm a guinea. I'm not a Jew, but I guess it's okay. What's the crazy? You know what? Ask me now what's the craziest thing I've seen at the Arnold after this fucking weekend. Where are we going Friday in Columbus? The Hyatt Bar is the, the place to go for all of the people in the fucking Arnold. I have an up. I have an up. Oh, I don't have an update. Oh, okay. I got movement for a second. <laughs> I got a trip I got to pay for. Okay, no problem. God, I understand. Beats by what? Dr. Bunny Boombots, MSM is the best. The fam, you're damn right, Key. And of course, you're in it. Why don't interview, why don't interview the experts on MD? Oh, yes. Did you guys notice? I didn't put it out there yet. I got to put a thing up. But I was notified by a friend of ours. I don't want to say who because I don't, I don't know if he or she wants to get in trouble. Was she we contact by the RARS and <laughs> I don't want to say. It's up to Steve to say. But somebody in the family, you may have to carry me back to the hotel at the Arnold at some point. Well, we're going to need that Jewish clone because <laughs> I'm old and weak and gay. Joe, are you coming to South Africa? I wish, bro. I would love to go to South. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Artie, come on. Where are you? I know, you got, I know you're going to give me a, a pissed off fucking response to that. There's going to be plenty of things to talk about for crazy shit. Yeah, that's why. I, I've really never seen anything crazy. I mean, how much money we making, Joe? I don't know. It depends how many people we can fucking roll over there. I'm your teen. 
Angelo Beast. You like what we're doing, Ange? You're going to meet us at the Arnold. Can we set up a GoFundMe to have Mr. Johnson do a live session? You see that? Oh, evil twin. Yes. That would be a good GoFundMe. Not the one that ironic douche fucking put together that fucking fizzled out. It's a sponsor issue, guys. <laughs> you sons of motherless goats. John, we will talk before uh, this weekend. Mr. Johnson asked to see my wiener. Come to Manhattan for a slice. Manhattan does have some good slices. But Brooklyn has got better. I would love to be at the Arnold's. I would interview for you. Vicky, I would love for you to come to the Arnold. Maybe one day you'll, you'll come stateside or we'll go Europe side. Is that what they say? Europe side? <laughs> I'd love to go to Greece. I hear you Greek people. <laughs> go train. You go do that, bro. You got a fucking show coming up in a few days. And then you celebrate afterwards. Natty Comics. Joe, how much is in your bank account? 17 and a half cents. Chaos Nutrition. Yes. Stevie the Shoey Shoesmith and Big Rob D lifts. Chaos, not chaotic. <laughs> nutrition. Belmont in the Bronx. I disagree. The the Da Vinci on 18th Avenue in Brooklyn is the best pizza in the world. Greece is great. I'm sure it's great because you're there. You are there, so it's even greater. Greater than. Did I? If I missed anybody's fucking questions, please let me know because I'm I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I can't even get to the topic at hand. You guys got me laughing my balls up. <coughs> Lenny was gonna run RX Muscle. I don't know. Palumbo might have a, something to say about that. You have the be- You have good pizza in Greece. I really didn't know because I heard the pizza in Italy sucks dick. I honestly, it's very different from like American Italian pizza. Five percent family. You and Big Rob. Yeah, damn right. I would love to give you a reach arounds one day. Keep rocking. Make sure you get my prostate though. Reach around, but I need the other spot covered too. How you doing, Joe? What did you train today? John, I did the buys and tries today. Thank you. What about yourself? Did you do anything? Is that the regular Joe? What? Getting the 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 um the kamasikama? The the thumb in the butt? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the gabagool gym. <laughs> we have Swedish meatballs. Yeah, I, I like Swedish meatballs. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Thoughts of the Arnold Classic having a wheelchair division. And do you think the sets of standards in bodybuilding that you don't have to train legs be a chip. Oh, that's not nice, bro. The wheelchair, I give those wheelchair guys credit, man. They look great. They're fucking ripped, you know? I mean, they could do fucking upper body three times a week each because they don't have to waste time on legs. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I do joke around and say that uh, my my uh, leg routine is actually worse than a wheelchair competitor's. <laughs> Shrugs video. Shuey's doing these muscle sport minute little training tip videos. Please subscribe um follow him on the uh, instagram steve underscore shoe smith common spelling oh yeah you like the thumb <laughs> who has the most suckable nips in the industry wow holy shit that's a dirty question you have to go to muscular development and ask that on ask ron <laughs> i don't know man i know uh denise messino has got nice nipples and nice and she's got a nice Big fucking roast beef curtains fucking style clitoris. Hitting some back on a Monday. Wow. Chest and shoulders for me today. Those that's a tough double up. Chest and shoulders. I, I do them once a I do those once a week. I do the buys and tries together. Everything else is once a week. Do you put any men's physique athletes in your magazine? Only if you're paying for the page. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I would never put a men's physique uh you know, like a regular story about a men's physique competitor. No offense. I just, uh, I, it's, it's a hardcore bodybuilding magazine uh, with sports and stuff. It doesn't have any, uh, you know, physique. It's not my thing. Callie, he's got the nipples. <laughs> Thank you for look, you, Thea, you're looking awesome. Oh my God, is she? Holy fuck. A young Paul Delette. Holy shit. Looking leaner, Joe. Keep it up, brother. Thank you. Well, back on the shit makes me feel a lot fucking better. So I think I train harder and I eat better too. 16 weeks out. Do you think... Oh, you're six... Oh, you're doing... That's right. Thea's gonna fucking... She's gonna get her pro card this year. 
Do you think he, Tati Yamagishi, will fare in his own class of going back to the Open? Yes, because he's finished top six in the Open before. So I think he's not just one of these 212 guys. He's been in the Open for a long time. He's just swimming upstream at this point. He can do some damage in that lineup. Uh, and this is going to be a tough lineup. But without a Roden in there, you know, there could be a slot that could be found. He could sneak in. Um, I don't know. I, I, I haven't looked at it that hard. But I remember I was saying Wolf is going to finish seventh. But that was with Roden in there. So maybe Wolf can sneak into the sixth, depending. And then Roden, you know, that open spot. Uh, who's your favorite bodybuilder? I don't give a fuck about bodybuilding, bro. I really don't. <laughs> um, I always liked, um, I don't know, Dan Lurie. I, I mean, I, I, he was a classic fucking, you know, he was a history, the, the history of the sport. I had the, the, uh, the, the fucking lucky enough to interview him a number of times. How much test do you get your hair jet like that? You got to use the fucking 500 milligrams a week. I'm booking our Vegas trip. What day is the Bachelor Red? Po oh, no. They're going to start talking about that and get me all fucking nuts. Cockseps every Monday. Why cut? Why cut back? I love to. You are a legend. Yo, really? You need to get to the fucking eye doctor. As long as you bring vodka mixed protein and two liter bottle of Deca, come to say we got nipples and a lot of other shit. Bro, if you ever have a chance to have a drink with me, I shall buy the first round. The 17th, Crystal. So happy you're coming out. Now I got to go get Joe to come. I want to come out. Joe's favorite female bodybuilder is any female bodybuilder. Crystal Wildfire Anthony. That's my answer. <laughs> I noticed on test I watch porn like crazy. Yes, you do, Jewish Leia. Big Muscles Mike. Here he is, the Queen's fucking real estate king. Favorite bodybuilder, your young James Khan. Come join in the fun, Joe. I would. I want to so bad. You know I do. I, I can't say yes or no yet. Lineman. Was Jim on here? Where, uh, did I, I miss Jim. What's your go-to porn, Joe? I like PornMD.com. It actually in, in, encompasses the whole Pornhub theater, but a little more so. And X videos is good, too. Lobster Tube is pretty good also. Hey, Jim, what's up, bro? The party's going to be crazy. MILF? I love MILFs. Even when I was a young, young buck, I loved banging. Don't regret it. I know I'm going to regret it if I don't go. Especially when you fuckers are all telling me these fucking dirty stories. Not much, Joe. Big fucking Jim. Jim and I are going to have the nose contest. Manja porn. Is that like when you put spaghetti on some girl's ass? Lionel Bayaki, Bonac, Max Charles, John De La Rosa. Uh, Jackson, Kuklo, Cedric, and Hita Tata. That's, that's your, uh, that's your lineup? Oh, that, I thought that was your predictions. When you were young, while we're young, Joe, you can stay with Rich and me in the fucking Vegas thing? I want to stay with Crazy Hawk, and I want to fucking drain his fucking bag. <laughs> I have to just look at the, the schedule Cause that whole, th I'll talk to you off air. Cause that whole thing with Melody and Wings, I gotta look how that's gonna go. Because then there'll be a lot more traveling involved. If not, then I'm gonna have a lot more free fucking, you know, travel days. While we're young, in Vegas, <laughs> Thea is laughing. Thea is laughing at me. Oh, somebody, Tiffany Kessler. That's the one. Oh, she was on the uh, the thing before. She sent me her cellular telephone. She wants to be on the fucking group chat. Joe accidentally clicked on the interracial porn and disowned his computer. I fucking, I emptied my clip into it. <laughs> and reloaded another one. But then the computer died, so I don't have to fucking waste more rounds on that shit. But, um, Lucky Luke. We are lucky to have Lucky Luke on the feed. But we, uh, we, uh, Joe, I have over 15,000 followers on my Instagram page. Very good, Mike. That is, that is fucking excellent. Not King Cole over here. Ho, oh, oh, ho, watch what you're saying. Ho, oh. Tommy, relax. I banged a 70 year old when I was 16. My yarmulke fell off. <laughs> Oh, uh, didn't the fake Greg account used to promote the IML stuff? No, I think it was more of just like a joke. It, it never was like, you know, ironic douche fucking level. Not that I recall. Will you be working with hip-hop legend at rock and roll? 
No, I'm not going to be doing stuff with Melly Mel. If he's there, I want you know say hi to him and say, hey, Melly, what the fuck's up? West Coast Johnny 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 Fit. What's up, Johnny Johnny Johnny? You were here. I saw you at the beginning, but I haven't seen you. Me and Johnny, we were talking uh, last week. We were exchanging emails and dick pics. Take care, you crazy fucker epic show. Thank you, Angelo. We must get together one day and fucking drink together and laugh. Who's the biggest human toilet in fitness? The ironic douche. Did he press charges, Slayer? Not yet. <laughs> Yard work today. Oh, wow. We actually had nice nice weather today. Like, it was like, okay. Kim to the T to the Gill to the Roy. How was your workout today? Did you get all sweated up like we asked you to? <laughs> Ray Posey. A pocket full of fucking Ray Posey. A pocket full of Posey. Kim is my pizza friend. Kim likes pizza. Johnny likes pizza. I like pizza. What are your thoughts on the immigration lawyers and their contributions to society? Parasites. Fake news, folks. Fake news. All fake. All fake. Believe me. Um, I, I, I don't like them because I don't want people to be in this country that shouldn't be you know, in this country. I'm a racist. <laughs> You must be a field Canadian. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Yard work. But, yeah, this is like the bon voyage of the Arnold. You got all of these other douchebags. Fox News Flash. <laughs> Sicilian immigrant stuff. I don't even want guineas here. I, I'm, I'm even prejudiced against my own kind. As long as they get the illegals out, I'm happy. Fucking immigrants. But you know, like you get all of these other dipshit sites. Uh, Our Arnold Classic predictions coming up at eight. It's ten o'clock. Have you grabbed your cock yet? Do you know where your load is? I need an immigration lawyer. <laughs> well, we know there's one. We're not going to recommend to you. <laughs> I think he only picky panny though. He only does the picky panny guys. But um. All these other sites. Uh, what do you think? I think Dexter's got one more in him. Who the fuck gives a shit? Who do you really give a fuck what somebody else thinks? Who's gonna win the fucking Arnold Classic? Do you give a fuck what I think? No, I don't even care what I think. What led to the demise of the Fitness RX forums? Um, when we had to take the tranny fucking thread off. Who gonna cause? What's up, Shuey? Just marry Joe, then you get your green card. <laughs> We might as well get married. We always fuck around. <laughs> is Callum competing in the Arnold? Not that I'm aware of, Thea. I think he's still a NABA guy. I don't think he's ever even competed in the NPC, unless he's doing like the Arnold, Arnold, <laughs> the Arnold Amateur. They have the Arnold Amateur in the NP. It's like a NPC. Nick Dave is out for Dave. Now, he was talking about the Fitness RX for Men that was part of the MD... Uh, publishing house that that was the one when I was over there I was doing hey Joe should you shave your head no I'm ugly enough bro I'll get ordained and marry you too <laughs> torturous Jessica Simpson congratulations to blood vessel breaking torturous Thea Miss Crazy <laughs> getting it broke up Jewish Slayer also Torture. You were like torturous Ashley Smith. You wanted to put those fur handcuffs on you. He was doing posing with Arnold. Oh, okay. Maybe he is then. I don't know. I don't follow a lot of this bodybuilding stuff. <laughs> it's $25 in a wedge page away. Callum is still recovering from the body. Oh, that's right. He was doing those curls with a lot of weight or something. Hey, you two can get married with Crazy and I in Vegas. Yeah. Steve, what do you say, bro? Can I beat a guy? Because I'm fucking, I've always been a girl. I want to be the guy for once. Callum Valmonger isn't a PC bodybuilder. He won the Culver's. He is? He won the Culver's. That's the one that fucking uh, uh, Boston won. Ric Flair's birthday. Happy birthday, nature boy. Woo. I don't know how to make a NABA. I beat you to it, Maze. I do. <laughs> uh She'll be, she'll be wearing fucking, like, asbestos suits for the bachelorette party and bachelor party in Vegas. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, so nobody gives a shit what uh, me or anybody else has to say. And if any of these other sites, like Ronline, think that people give a fuck about that, you're fucking dumber than you fucking even purport yourselves to be. Sam and Slammy, that would be pointless because Crystal doesn't torture. 
Rubber suits. Are you two going to outshine us? Oh, imagine me and Steve, like, like one wearing a fucking wedding dress and the other in a tuxedo. What we should do is have, like, half each. Like those half guys, half girls in the circus there. <laughs> half a fag. <laughs> one ball, one labia. As an editor of a magazine and the owner of a media conglomerate, is it better to be feared or loved in this industry, in your opinion? You know what? I'm going to actually step inside the box, Nick, and I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Clockwork Orange, yes, my bachelor party was fucking actually reminiscent of said Clockwork Orange movie. I'm going to say loved, only because you're probably going to get more people um, jumping on board. And you're going to get straight people on board. But it's going to be boring. When you're hated, you get sick fucking bastards like fucking you guys following this shit. And that's why I do it. I would be bored to fucking my tits falling off. I'm doing proper interviews for the two brothers. Yes, that I, I, I agree. In that setting, it is the right thing because you're doing a show coverage thing. When I'm drinking at the bar at the Arnold, I don't give a fuck who's on stage. So that's what I'm going to fucking do. But Stevie, yes, I agree. Ron's middle school newspaper style interview of Evan was riveting. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. What do you think those shirts I ordered from you are going to show up before? Do you think those shirts? Otherwise, I got to go shirtless and nobody wants to see my pepperoni nipples. No, Moke, they, I, I, I sent them priority mail and I sent them from the post office in New York to your Indiana. Uh, it should get there, I'm assuming, by tomorrow. Today, tomorrow, I think it said on the receipt, expected Monday. But let's say Tuesday. Usually it's a two-day thing. It, but it was priority, so I know it's going to get there. I got a tracking number if we need it. Cat fucking Vong, what is up? Luke, it was terrible? Really? Is it worth, like, terrible enough to go watch for jer jerking? We're a special kind of sick fucks here. Yes, definitely, Eric. If you didn't take as many vacations as you did as a younger man, do you think that muscle sport bag could be... <laughs> it is bag of shit. <laughs> Could be further, and it's development of number one bodybuilding magazine. Well, I think it we're the number one bodybuilding magazine now. So, um, would I put that money into it? I don't know. I don't know. It depends, man. I gotta feed the family first. You know, my my kids become before like an article thing. But I do understand what you're saying, Nick. Nick, I gotta get you under the in the fold here. We gotta do that sports thing. This weekend's about MSM. The Arnold is an afterthought. You're damn fucking right, Wildfire. That's what I said. It's a bomb voyage for their Arnold. It's nothing to do with predictions. Ooh, I think this guy's going to finish ahead of this guy. Quarter turn to the right. Nah, stand and relax. Who gives a fuck? I, listen, I enjoy, uh, you know, like seeing the pictures afterwards. Or when I was given credentials before I was punished again, um, I did enjoy going to the shows. I'll tell you, last year I sat in the media section. I watched it on the TV screen. I didn't even fucking go in the media, you know, and sitting in the, in the arena. I was around the corner in the little media section. That's where Dave and Sean Ray had their fight there. <clears throat> I'll check the mail once I get done jerking off. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands. Those black shirts will show up. Johnny Bravo FT Dub. What's up, JB? Check out Abella S. New Vids on Bang Bros. Bang Bros is fucking, they got some fucking big fake tits that bounce on their promos. Oh, we're here. Joe, what's the deal with Johnny Bravo making a video trying to nail this WWE romance for fun? Because it's it's mainstream. It gets attention. He's getting mainstream attention. Forbes magazine and shit. You know, listen. Any journalist wants to break a story. If you get a scoop, man. I have a scoop coming up. I have my version of Dennis Wolf, Wolf One Week Out. I care about results. I love seeing the science projects risk their lives for entertainment. I find the physiques and backstories fascinating. <clears throat> Nick, you're starting to scare me. <laughs> MSM crew, newsflash, arrested for life behavior and torturing Blackman. Next on Fox News, next week at the Arnold. Lewd behavior, lewd and crude. I want an explanation on this. What is it, Milajevic? I don't, I don't remember what the question was. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were younger, Joe? You want to laugh? A fucking night. The same stupid fucking thing I tattooed on my arm fucking how many years later. I thought nights were real when I was a kid. Well, not real. I mean, like, current real, not in the 1500s. So I was like four or five. I said I wanted to be a knight. <laughs> That's a true story. Is this story real? About the knight? <laughs> I don't know. What happened to the fake prophet muscle? He was in here for a second. Female or physique girl? 
and silicone. I'm not sure what you mean, Malabovich. Lyman, my idol, my job is to keep Joe in line. <laughs> oh, Jesus, you got your hands fucking full. Good thing Rich is going to be around. Is that Dina? Is that the Dina who flips her hair in the slow motion fucking videos and gets me all fucking excited? I hope it's her because she's sexy. Hi, Dina. How did you know your wife was the one? Um, She wasn't fucking a, 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 a whore in bed. And that's the damn truth. Of course, there was. Oh, it is the Dina. It's hard to see. Oh, that's that little bikini shot. Dina's fucking sexy. I, I, I like looking at her little videos and pictures. Kevin Mawai and Nick Mangold. Mawai, you asked me that before, and it's Mawai again. Denise, here he is, Scatman. What's up? Got to run, Jim. See you later, bro. See you later, Lyman. No, so I, I, my wife was was I was cool with her from the get go, but I definitely if she wasn't like you know doing handstands in the bed and taking it in three holes in the first fucking fifteen minutes, I knew there was definitely something fucking special. Joe, what's up? I'm in the last ten minutes. All right, that's all we got left. Holy shit! I'm not into that scat shit, Joe. Are you kidding me? I saw one. You were in it. You were a star of the fucking show. It was hard to tell because you were covered with molasses. <laughs> oh, Dina, we got to do some fucking videos with Dina shaking her hair. Is John Riggins the best white running back in Jets history? Scott Durking, number 25. No, oh, John Riggins probably, yeah. They got rid of him early, but he got rid of himself. He retired because he wanted to leave the Jets. Very strange situation with John. Riggo Riggins. Um, he the Mohawk Jets days. He didn't reach his full potential till he was like really old, which never happens in a running back uh, situation. And with the skins, yeah, but definitely uh, Riggins. Definitely, he might be the best running. Well, uh, McNeil and uh, and uh, my favorite Martin. A scene where guys like Ron Harris and the ironic are relevant can only be fucked up. Oh my God, there is no such thing. They are never relevant. They think they are. Their mind. Their mind is telling them they're relevant. But we know better. We know better here with the family. The family gathering in Columbus, Ohio. How sweet. Who's going to bring the fucking pumpkin pie? Holy shit. Joe, what the fuck isn't Klecko in the hall? Fucking all pro in three different positions. I don't know, Luke. I don't know if he pissed somebody off, but Joe Klecko, in my opinion, is a Hall of Famer for that reason alone. Nose tackle, defensive end, and regular defensive, you know, 4-3 interior lineman, 4-3 outside lineman, and 3-4 nose. Joe, how much is your room at the Arnold? How much you got? <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't cheap. It's What was it, like 200 and something? And it's like, I don't remember. Like, 189 or something. I don't know. C dubs. What is up, C dubs? They they're never cheap. Thoughts on Marvin Jones. Why is he not a Hall of Famer? He wasn't a Hall of Famer. He was not a Hall of Famer. But I am fucking actually friendly with Shade Tree Jones. Um, I've met him before. Uh, we we speak frequently on the Twitter. Michael Gunro, a uh, Gurno. Gur I always say his name wrong. Greg said. You paid him in turkey sandwiches. Actually, it was bologna, but, you know, it tasted like turkey. It was bad. It was outdated. He must have fucked the commissioner at times. Wife, I mean, pro at three positions. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Who, who was mad at you? He was in fucking movies and shit, too. He Wasn't he in the Burt Reynolds movie there with fucking Jackie Gleason? Fuck that. I'm staying out of it. What are you staying out of? The scat movies? <laughs> Hello, getting things together for a trip early Friday morning. Are you guys... Oh, there's a fucking fake Comerica Muscles out again. <laughs> oh, my God. A fake Greg, a fake Joe, and a fake Goys. Wow, this is great. The Hampton next to the casino. I didn't know there was a casino in there. I'm there every... Gurno. I, I, Mike, I fuck your name up. That's just the Thor. Just call him Thor. I fuck up your name all the fucking time, bro. If you want to see a fucking amazing transformation, check out Michael Gurno. Gurno. <laughs> I said it right for once. Is it true that Greg Kovacs couldn't wipe his own hair? I did hear that. Greg Valentino told me that. I never witnessed it myself, so I can't say for sure. 
But it sounds like it's possible. Camerica muscles. See, no, that's a new fake Camerica muscle. But we know that's a real fake because that's the IML uh, avatar. And he's not with them either anymore. Thor 2.0. Damn fucking right, Mike. That fucking transformation. And it's on Muscle Sport with links to his site, too. You're driving up Friday morning, open the doors, staying till Saturday night. Okay, so you'll be there Friday. Are you going to be hanging out on Saturday night, or you're gonna just you're gonna bail out after the expo on Saturday? Because I don't want you to do any drinking and driving. Do you think that former member of New York Stock Exchange Abdul Salam gets lost in the shuffle of great catch players due to the fact that he was the only black member? Is this arthritis, Audie or Nick D asking this question? Just kidding, Audie. Um, Abdul Salam gets lost in the shuffle because he didn't do like headline type of things. Obviously, Gastineau with the sack dance and all the off the field shit. Uh, Joe Klecko was just like the lunch pail guy, and Marty Lyons was like the crazy guy. Salam was kind of like a quiet guy, and it was so hard for him to get numbers because the guys around him were getting great numbers. So they all couldn't get a million fucking tackles and sacks. But I don't think it's anything to do with the color of his skin. Speaking of Thor, can someone tell Syndergaard to relax their own 100 miles? Yeah, I know, right? He's going to fuck up his goddamn lat again or worse. When are you arriving in Columbus? Thursday. Thursday afternoon till Sunday. I accidentally hit post before I finished the darn text. I'm staying at the Hampton by the casino in Columbus. Is what I, mean. I didn't know there was a casino there. That's how fucking stunad I am. I don't gamble anymore anyway. I can't gamble. I lose too much money. I get, I get, I'm not one of these guys like, ah, I'm only going to play 50 bucks worth. Give me 100 and I'm out. Win, lose, or draw. No, sir. <laughs> oh my God. I've broken nights sitting at a fucking table many a times. How is gas to know not in the Hall of Fame? And that's funny you called Artie out because that's who I was thinking of when I wrote it. <laughs> Nick, you and I have very similar th sick thoughts. Um, Gastineau's not in the Hall of Fame because he, he caused a lot of trouble and I did tell you I locked him up one time, right, Nick? <laughs> I got a great picture of him and me and my boss in the squad. <laughs> we were all big Jet fans. <laughs> um, he, he, too much off the field incidents. He'll never make the Hall of Fame. Plus, he's only, uh, he's just sacks so and he sucked against the run. He was, a, he was a, he was basically like a three-point shooter in basketball that can't play defense or fucking drive the lane. So that's why. How is my relationship with Greg nowadays? We spoke a couple of weeks ago, and we were fine. Uh, but I'm not allowed anywhere near the boot, so I can't even go say hello to him. Uh, Gastelino is a freak show of the field. 107, uh, 107 and a half sacks. I don't know. Yeah, Lyle Alzado was better. Lyle Alzado was a better all-around player. Um, you know, he, he wasn't just a, a, you know, um, a pass rusher. He could clog holes, too. I would say Alzado was a better, all around better than Gastineau. But Gastineau, listen, when Mark Gastineau fucking pinned his ears behind his fucking head and fucking took off on a third and eight, he, he was getting to that quarterback. He rushed the pass, sack, whatever. I should go to their booth and interview Frank and Greg. You're going to have to because I can't. You have to bring Rich with you. <laughs> Is it true that Rich Piana had like record playing breaking lines on I don't know about record breaking, but I would say if they did keep track of those things, yeah, they probably would be. I don't think they ever kept track. The biggest lines I've ever seen is her uh him and her her is uh, uh what's a fucking Dana Lynn Bailey, I meant to say. L I know he was infamous as fuck, but the YouTube comments thread was pure gold. Yes, bro. Yeah, I I'd, I'd say Rich has had the biggest lines. Dana had great lines. But I'm telling you right now, I think that Lee Priest at the fucking Arnold at the Black Skull booth is going to fucking beat both of their fucking lines. I'm just telling you. Lee Priest has this fucking cult following that is just ridiculous. And he does not get around a lot for a number of reasons, especially in the U.S., bro. So he's going to – people are going to go nuts when they see him. Rich wait was like two hours. I think so too. Agreed. And Lee Priest at Body Power. Yeah, that's right. When he was on the thing, he said he was going to be there too. See, that's Lee's like, you'll get him in Australia or, uh, well, he actually was like banned from the Arnold Australia and he lives, he was joking around about it on RX. Lee is so fucking funny. Lee is fucking just a cool dude all around. 
Cool dude. Stay weird, Wolf Join. You're in the right show, bro. <laughs> I am from fucking Serbia, and he is like a fucking bodybuilding god. Yeah, he's like that over here globally, bro. Kai had a crazy weight last year. You're right. He did have, Kai Green did have a long fucking uh, a line. Yes. Buff Dolls, Brianna, what's up, baby? And we got internet in 2010. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's fucking wild, bro. That is wild, Milajevic. Hey, baby. That's a buff doll. She's definitely got some buff and she's a doll. Thoughts on Justin Trudeau. Fag. Would you ever get an interview with him for Muscle Sport Media? I would get an interview with anybody for Muscle Sport Media if they were interested. If they're interesting and interested. And I think he would be interesting, but I doubt he would be interested. <laughs> I just imagine how difficult it is to interview Kai. It's a waste of time, bro. King Kamali needs a booth. King is very good. Do you think that, uh, Brianna, do you think that Justin Trudeau, do you think that he would switch to the fucking girly side if you had a chance with him? Would you be able to convince him? Or is he too far gone? All he wants to do is suck Obama cock, that guy. He wants to be on his bicycle with him. Uh in the fucking Wrigley fucking field ivy in that stupid painting by that other fucking fag. How you doing, Kai? Hey, uh, I'm doing really wonderful. But what do you mean doing? I'm doing here, I'm doing there, I'm doing everywhere. Crushing buff dolls. Uh-oh, I would still do him. He's a nice-looking guy. And I don't know if he's, you know, homosexual, like like uh, he wants man, you know, sperm on his face. But um, I think he's a, he, I, I mean fag, like, ah, oh, you're a fag. You're a pussy. Like that kind of fag. You know, people get too bent. Oh, he's homophobic. No, you fucking faggot. <laughs> Blood vessels breaking. Oh, Mr. Johnson, you found a new fucking person you could show your fucking po photos to. Laugh out of Kai impression. What is, aren't I competing every day of my life? What do you mean by competing when somebody asked him? Kai is, he's, he's got an amazing fucking physique, though. Do you think that Barack Obama eased racial tension across the globe or heightened it? That piece of shite caused global division that will be going forever. Buff Dolls wants to come on. We're going to get her on. We got a minute and change left, but that's enough for the Buff Dolls. I would like to go retarded if I had to interview him. Where are you, little Brianna? It says connecting... Oh, I see a window. It looks like Mr. Johnson's house. Are you in Mr. Johnson? No, no, no. I, hey, I don't want to show my face on camera. I don't have any makeup on right now. Oh, you look fucking gorgeous anyway. Show your feet then. Show your feet. I heard that there's a certain radio host that has a foot fetish. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my bedroom slippers. I'm, I'm elbow deep in Jordan 1 Jordan 1 and Jordan 2. Oh, okay. Can you show us your tootsies? <laughs> oh. Oh, look. See, I, I heard that 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 fake Joe account has an amazing fucking foot fetish. She loves sniffing and licking them. Those look like they'd be good for a. It might be good yeah. while giving a foot the job, though. It might keep it might keep the foot job, you know, the rod in place, though. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh come on! Fuck that noise! It's 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 safe. I, I need my feet too bad. Well, it doesn't you know. break them. Right. <laughs> It just gives them a little, a little, uh, a little fucking cream at the end of the day, and you can rub it in. Yeah, well, then I, I gotta give up foot jobs for about six months until it heals. So. No, it won't hurt it. I can't do that. I, I heard that the, the, there are people on this. No one, a, no one will get a foot job from Brianna. Why not? Too much money. Oh, you had the surgery. Brianna, we got 30 seconds left, so I got to say goodbye, and I want you to say goodbye to the family. Say goodbye to the family before we get cut off, sweetie. Goodbye, everyone. 
Thank you for joining the show at the end of the day. It was great having you and seeing your feet. Guys, I will see you after the Arnold, but we will be broadcasting from there. Thank you for jumping in, Brianna, Mr. Johnson, and everybody, the family.